so in this session we are going to learn the things about the implicit commit okay so we know that basically there are two types of uh, commit takes place whenever we run any program so you would have seen we write after any database update statement right the commit work in order to save the changes into the database sometimes even if we don't write this commit work then also data save gets uh, changed and saved into the for example here i have created one program and if you uh, write one you know so update uh, we have let me quickly write update zst employee one table is there set uh, uh, name equals to abc some dummy name where id equals to 001 okay so here in this scenario if we go and check the data into this table then you know here we have this table and execute this table so employee id is triple zero one here pankaj kumar employee name is there i am willing to change as ram correct so you know uh willing to change abc right so triple zero one and when we save once again we can activate this one and uh, you know so some error it's uh, showing uh, I think it's employee name. Let's uh, correct this one. Employee name. So check this, and it's also employee ID. You know. So let me check what's the name. It's employee or it's ID. I will check quickly. SC11 ZST underscore employee and give the its employee ID so I'll put it here employee ID check the syntax so I'm changing this one right it got activated when I execute you, you see that I'm not writing here any commit work or something like that right I'm not writing this commit work I'm going to comment this one save this activate this and if you run this one it got executed and here in the table level if you come and see that you know abc got changed earlier it was pankaj kumar now it's abc so how it saved so what happens that it takes place the commit work implicitly without explicitly writing the commit work so in what what are those scenarios where implicit commit takes place takes place so that actually we are discussing okay so the very first scenario if any screen changes you know if any screen changes like if you are going from one screen to another screen or if you are like implicit take uh, implicit commit takes place uh, generally when you are uh, generally work processes changes you know and the thing is that when work processes changes work process changes in scenario where a screen is uh, like you are going from one screen to another screen or another scenario like in case of getting thrown the message like for example you know when uh, some information message you are throwing right and if you are throwing some warning message right or if you are throwing some error message that in that case implicit commit takes place automatically all right so i will show you quickly over here so this time i'm going to change the name uh, implicit test so like that i'm changing the name and here in the program you know message uh, test type i so this is the information message okay and here simply i'm giving some right test successful something like that some executable list a statement just in order to put the breakpoint so here i have put the breakpoint and run this one 
so you see that this particular update statement is now executed but at this moment implicit commit has not been taken place because this message i have not thrown or this program is not completed when a program is completed then automatically implicit commit takes place right so if you come and refresh this one you see still abc is there right but if you see when this message is thrown so i'm pressing f6 and you will see that this message now thrown so what happens a screen got changed and again like so at this moment if you just go and check here you know it got you know changed so when any screen changes in that case work processes also work process change takes place and then uh, you know implicit commit automatically takes place okay and this is one scenario where i shown you without writing the explicit commit work over here you know it's a uh, implicit commit is taking place now if you give any warning message also okay wi then in this case right also implicit commit will take place and here implicit test uh, with error also i will give you so next in in this demo first i will show you with warning and then i will show you with error already i have shown you with information message right so activate this one activate this one i will change this earlier implicit test was there implicit test with uh, implicit test with w and here implicit test with error right so name i am changing in that table like this so uh employee name i'm quickly checking the size it's a car 20 so i think it should accommodate actually this name it should be not more than 20 or if it is exceeding more than 20 it will terminate some message uh, some some character from last right so let's uh, put the breakpoint over here I will activate this one activate this one and I'll put the breakpoint over here quickly and click on this execute button and then here if you see that after this update statement there will nothing be updated in this system right still it's there but when it will throw the warning message okay see the warning message it has thrown test then in this case if you come and refresh this one see implicit test underscore w automatically coming over here right that means again implicit commit took place right now so this is one already we have seen now now let's see this one uh, this part execute this one and come here implicit with error we are seeing right so at this moment implicit test with warning is there right now come here and press f6 so after this also there is no implicit commit right still this warning is there but at this moment when the error message will trigger then you will see that you know you can see that error message got triggered and now a screen got changes work process uh, change also took place and you can see that implicit with error got occurred so you got this point now the second point what i'm asking over here that does automatically commit work takes place when about message or dump takes place so you can go and try with the message type a and message type x right in that case you will find that implicit commit does not take place and your changes will not be saved into this database so hope you understood the concept about the implicit commit if you like this concept just hit a like and don't forget to share with your friends for ABAP related trainings or ABAP on HANA or object oriented ABAP, ALE, IDOC, Adobe Forms. You can visit my website www.saptakemateeasy.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.